I got a new camera bag, finally. And it was a bargain. Absolute bargain. Right the she got it for how much? Right, take it. <laughs> Not it to get the guy in trouble. Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. And then when I went to the tail, he was like thirty four ninety nine, and I was like in a ninety. I was like, oh, it actually says twenty nine ninety nine. Went and showed him the sticker, and he was like, wasn't impressed at all. And he basically was kind of saying that he wasn't going to give it at that price. So we backed a tail, and then he was like, okay, oh, you know yes. what? Twenty four ninety nine. We won't say anything you more. Cut about me it. So I got it for cheaper. Just get it for. Five euro cheaper than we expected. Although, I have to say. So I got it for 10 euro off the actual price, by the way. Uh, that's what all I I'm going to say is this is where we are now. The beautiful backdrop, Brian. That's what I learned. Always wear makeup when you leave the house. <laughs> our studio our little area our office whatever you want to call it it's where we make stuff this is me and sarah our tiny bits on instagram uh this is where we make our content our edits our everything my system's here sarah's is just over there and i just thought i would make this into more of a talking head video i suppose uh, i worked with ideas on you know how I can like make better videos was basically what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, it met was that I wanted to make my 2020 as productive and as productive. I think productive would be the word productive as productive as I possibly can brings me to the topic at hand in today's video, which is going to be planning, um, and the importance of it, I suppose, and how how I didn't realize how much better my content is um, or anything I make when I sit down and plan it, when I think about what I'm gonna do with it, when I think about how I'm gonna make that and where I'm gonna be using it, what it's for, what I'm doing with it and how it gives me, I suppose, a better vision. So in essence, the same as when I was sitting down to plan out this video, um, I kind of sat down and thought, well, what do I want to get out of this video? What do I want to get out of, I suppose, making some videos online? If it helps somebody to rethink maybe how they organize themselves for making photographs or making videos or, or just in general day-to-day -day life, then great. But it's something I never thought about, something I seriously underestimated until maybe this last couple of weeks where I've actually sat down and planned stuff. Um, I've done a schedule, like I, I have a, a calendar, which Sarah has been kind of making fun of me of, but on my Google calendar, it's just every evening after work, what I'm going to be working on that evening and when I have free time and what I'm going to be, not necessarily what I'm going to be doing in my free time. And obviously you don't have to, I, like even I don't stick to it like religiously. I just go in, do what I can as best I can. And at least it gives me like a start point to work from. The first thing I was talking about when I was planning was, is I actually wrote down what I wanted to get out of this video. Um, I was trying to come up with an idea of a video and I was like, well, I've, I've struggled planning things. So maybe that might be somewhere to actually start out. So I thought, what do I want to do with these videos from now on? And it's kind of like a personal vlog, I suppose, as such, I don't really, I like being able to go back and look at the memories that I've created and I, and I like being able to store them there in like a order so that when you go back and watch something you can see things that have happened and things that have done like Sarah and I trip to Brighton 
um, you know, any little trips around Ireland that we've documented. I know I've done videos for Cork and stuff when I went there. Kerry, all over the place. So like, that's kind of where I started with making videos on YouTube. But as I kind of tended recently to make more videos, the more I kind of thought, well, hold on a minute, what do I want to do with these videos? Because the, you're putting them in a public place. So if I want somebody to see them, then, then how do I make them better? And I thought, you know what, if maybe if I sit down and actually plan a few videos out and see how that goes. So for the start of 2020, that was the basis of me starting to plan a little bit better. I was like looking up like why, why, uh, why is planning important? Um, I suppose for me, I've, the one thing I've noted is when I plan stuff now, I'm a lot more motivated to do it. Um, as well as it, has increased my efficiency at doing things. Because when I've had an allotted time, I stick to it and I go in and I go, right, I've got an hour to do X, Y, Z. I've got to edit these 15 photos in the next 40 minutes. I feel like, to me anyway, it's definitely been a benefit already, I can see, and I'm only 10 days into 2020. Um, and that's not to say, as I said, like you don't have to stick to this plan that you've made it religiously, but it's just having goals and working towards them I suppose you know I, I like having the vlog content and keeping like track of what I'm doing and I don't want to just have all my videos be me sitting here staring with the camera I think that's for me it's not that exciting and it's not that interesting I suppose I, where I kind of when I was sitting down thinking about what I want to do with the content that I'm making it was really the big thing that made me realize that my planning was what was making me a bit iffy with how good my content and quality quality of my photographs and that is was basically down to the fact that I looked at some stuff that I had planned in the previous year or two um, the main thing being time-lapse Tuesday um, so basically if you don't follow me on Instagram I have like a I had sorry this is where it fell off and this is why I wanted to get back on the horse I had like a Tuesday weekly thing where I did a time-lapse for every single Tuesday it was only 15 seconds but it was quite, you know, I wanted a high quality time lapse set up for those 15 seconds. So I would go out and I'd shoot them all. Like I'd shoot a, shoot a scene with, uh, with in JPEG shots, come out with maybe five or 600 pictures, come home, edit it down in Premiere and make it to the format for Instagram stories. And it was weekly I did this. And I, I think I have something like 40 or 50 different time lapses in it. And it was only one scene. It wasn't like it was me going through like a whole thing. It was just a little thing to, I suppose, create a bit of drive in myself. And it was when I planned to do these, it meant that I thought every week, like, right, where am I going to go this week for this week's time lapse? How am I going to get a time lapse? Is there any way I can make this better than last week's time lapse? And that's where I saw the big benefit of planning I suppose it was something that I would thought like okay on Sunday evening I have to go here because sunset's gonna be unreal so I need to do this time lapse anyway I think I've rambled on enough here if you like it if you're liking these videos and that definitely let me know if if you if there's any other topics or something that maybe you'd like to hear or talk about leave a comment or message me on Instagram um, it's, it's definitely something that I'm, that I'm open to working on. My plan at the week, at the minute is, is to have a video out every second Friday. Um, one minute. So yeah, the first Friday of the year was the third. So we're going on from the third Friday of the year actually onwards, but it'll be every second Friday from there out. So this one should be out on the 17th, even though it's the 10th of January now. And then from the 17th onwards, I plan to have a video out every Friday blog format or something like this so if you do have any ideas of what you want to see or what you want to talk about give me a shout i suppose i did make a little video at the end of like 2019 it's like a mixture compilation of just everything from like august to december because at the end of august i just stopped making videos for whatever reason i cannot figure it out yet but i just lost all the motivation to do it so yeah the big change i suppose i have made is I am now a Sony shooter. Still using the Canon for video in this stuff because it's unreal autofocus is just great. But the Sony eye autofocus for stills is just, I thought as well as that, yeah, this is what I did forget. 
is I didn't really plug any of the stuff on my channel because I was working on the stuff and that's probably why I made less videos in that period of time. But I did shoot a music video with uh, Gary O'Neill um, for his song Set For Life and it was my first time ever doing any of that sort of stuff. So it was like a huge learning curve for me and when the planning thing was what I suppose kind of started there whenever me and him had actually sat down on multiple occasions and discussed what he wanted out of this video where we're, where we were going with this video for him um, and I'll put a little clip of it in here somewhere as well <laughs> Um, we also did some live sessions. I have a little project going on with that. Um, if you guys know anybody in like the Galway area that's looking to shoot a uh, a few live songs in, a, in an acoustic environment, I've got a little setup I'm looking here. I'm looking to make like four or five camera videos, um, multi-track. Basically, if someone wants a video made in, um, in the Galway area, point them my way. I'm looking just to make a few videos to get get good, I suppose. Practice, practice makes perfect would be the best way to do it, I suppose. Um, anyway, back to vlog stuff or whatever. Get used to this. Also, Toy Story posters. Um, originally were supposed to be Star Wars posters. When I bought them, I thought they were Star Wars posters. And I just opened them up just before I was making this video to put it up on the wall so that the wall just wasn't a big blank wall behind me. And they were Toy Story. Somebody put the Toy Story posters in the Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> 